Alright people, Brad the Love back again with another video and this is my Crystal Palace versus Manchester United preview ahead of the game on Wednesday. Now, um, this is a big game in the Premier League uh, for United. Um, I think every game is. Um, after the fantastic win against Manchester City, I think confidence will be really, really high. Of course, people will still be upset about the goal, about the Bruno Fernandes goal. Um, everybody's basically saying it shouldn't have stood. If that's the case, fair enough. But that's not on United fans. That's, you know, the referee decided that was the case according to the law. Um, so, yeah, we'll just go with it. Um, but we played really, really well at the weekend. Despite that, despite the goal and everything like that, we played really, really well. And I thought we deserved to win the game, despite everything uh, that happened. Now, um, we go to Crystal Palace and, uh, you know, Crystal Palace at the moment, they're, they're, doing, they're doing all right. They're 12th in the Premier League. They lost at Chelsea yesterday, a very narrow defeat. Um... They beat us at Sellers Park on the last day of last season, um, which was a dreadful season. I think it was Palace's first home win in the Premier League over United uh, since they got promoted in 2013, which is 10 years ago. Um, so, Crystal Palace, let's have a look at what sort of the form they're in. Uh, lost all their games in 2023. They're... They've only won one game since the they came back from the World Cup, which was the win at Bournemouth. And even before that, the form wasn't particularly fantastic. Um, I heard someone say Patrick Vieira's under pressure. I don't think he is. I think he's doing a really good job. I think he's doing. I think Palace are where they're supposed to be. You know, you know they're not too close to the relegation zone. They're on twenty two points. Ideally, they'd want to be further away from, from that drop zone. The seven points above from, from safety. But I just don't think it's likely that they will be in um, any sort of danger um, on that front. I think Crystal Palace will be fine. They've got a difficult period. They play United twice. Um, so, they play us on Wednesday. Then they've got Newcastle at home. And then on the 4th of February... They travel to Old Trafford, um, and I think you know that they look at those. You know they've got a few difficult games to come. Crystal Palace, you know, and I think they want to avoid being sucked in. I think Crystal Palace will be absolutely fine. There is, um, you know, Palace fans might be a little bit concerned about the future of Wilfred Zaha. Will he remain at the club? Um, Palace. I think some people might have accused Palace of being a one-man team in the past under Patrick Vieira. I think that's very, very different. I don't think it's um, the Zaha show. I think if Wilfred Zaha did leave the club, I think it would be a shame to lose him. But I think, you know, Palace have kept hold of him for a few years now. And, um, you know, I think it's um, maybe sometimes it's best to part ways. Sometimes, I don't know, he might even stay. Who knows? But his contract runs out in the summer. Uh, looking at the fixtures... That Palace have got after that. They've got Brighton at home. Not an easy game at all. Brighton are doing really, really well. But it's a derby game, that one. They've, and they've got to go to Brentford. Again, another side doing really, really well. Then they've got Liverpool. And again, Liverpool, they might be having a poor season. But Liverpool can definitely do something. Then they've got Villa away. City away. Uh, City at home. And Arsenal away. Um... But look, I think Crystal Palace will be absolutely fine. I think they're a good team. I think they've got um, a very good manager in Patrick Vieira. Um, you know, and it's always a fantastic atmosphere at Sellers Park. So, yeah, let's let's see if uh, United can uh, go there with another win in ahead of the big big Premier League clash at the Emirates away to Arsenal. That is going to be an absolutely. That could be a, absolutely vital game in the Premier League. Um, you know to see, what can happen. Um, United are in fourth place, level on points with Newcastle. 
Newcastle have a better goal difference than us, way better goal difference on 22. Um, so I think it's important that we, we win the game. And we can go back to second, so we will we'll go second place if we, you know, maybe just for a little bit, because City play Tottenham the night after and they can go back above us in the Premier League. But, um, yeah, I'm going to say a 2-0 Manchester United win. I think Veghorst will make his debut and I think he's going to score. And I think Marcus Rashford will continue his, his great form as well and we'll come away with a 2-0 win. Um, hopefully we can go to Arsenal and get a, another win there maybe, who knows. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe and comment below. This has been Brad the Lad. See you all in a bit. Bye-bye.